and I got my, my hands on the ball a bit more this game. So, you know, three weeks in and, and I guess, uh, I guess, I mean, what can you expect? I did, I really did throw myself into the deep end here. I fucking did. Like division one would have been the real deep end. That's probably like a three meter pull. But division two is probably like a two meter pull. And I'm only a meter 85 tall. Hey, what's up you guys? What's, what, what's going on? Um, those are some Littleton socks. And actually, come to think of it, that's my fucking mouth guard. And with that being said, yes, that's right. Today is, um, today is another rugby match report. And, uh, oh, I'm happy to say uh, we've just finished. But I'm not so happy to say we actually took a loss this week. Um, it's week number three of the Littleton Dolphins Division 2 um, Canterbury Metro Rugby season. And, uh, well, all I can say is uh, the game was fucking fun. You know, the weather was good. But the ground, having, you know, received another four or five days of, of pretty bad rain, was, was in terrible shape. So, at the end of the day, the footing wasn't there once again. But, as a team, I think we played fantastically. The first half, we, we were up 11-3. Uh, it was one converted, no, sorry, one unconverted try and two penalties against one penalty. Pretty back and forth game. Kept it nice and tight. There wasn't a huge amount of ball going out to the backs. Um, I played centre in this game. In the previous two games, I've actually worn two different numbers. I wore 14 the first week. No, sorry. I wore 14 the first week. It was right wing. And then I played centre last week. And I played centre again this week. So, you know, centre means you do get a little bit more ball. Um, I probably put in about, fuck, I'd have to say six or seven tackles. Maybe even eight tackles. And um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with my performance, really. Uh, you know, one of my teammates, and I'm getting, getting along with my teammates so much better now. It's like, I've, I really do feel part of the team, and I feel fucking... <laughs> to be back part of the Littleton team, you know, I could have joined any rugby team, but to be back in the Littleton team with the history I have with the club, I mean, it is incredible. It's an incredible feeling, and these guys are my... These are my guys, man. This is my team, you know. I'm... I'm I'm a Littleton boy through and through. So this is my team, and I really feel like it now. But, moving on. Um, yeah, probably put about eight, eight, or, eight or nine tackles in. On attack, I had one uh, cut move. I cut inside the inside center. It goes 10 to 12. I cut as 13, inside 12. All I, was cons all, I, all I was hoping for, bro, all I was hoping for before getting that ball was just to not slip over because I had lost my footing a couple of times already in the game. So, you know, I probably didn't cut on as much of a dynamic angle as I could have, but I did cut inside, I got the ball, and uh, didn't lose my footing, and I, I, you know, burst it into the line, and I, I almost broke through, actually. I almost got probably about two or three line breaks, but they just held me up. They just got my legs or they just hit my ankles or, you know, I, I, I just didn't break through the line. But it was fucking fun. And I got my, my hands on the ball a bit more this game. So, you know, three weeks in and, and I guess, uh, I guess, I mean, what can you expect? I, did, I really did throw myself into the deep end here. I fucking did. Like, Division 1 would have been the real deep end. That's probably like a 3 meter pull. But Division 2 is probably like a 2 meter pull. And I'm only a meter 85 tall. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm treading at the moment. But I will say that, fuck, I was happy with the game, man. I fucking had fun. My sister came and watched. My sister's watched um, every game so far. Fucking legend. Um, my mate Tim has watched every game so far. He's, he's also a legend. Uh, you'll probably meet him at some stage, actually. But, guys, final score, unfortunately, was 17-11. They scored two late second-half tries to bring it back from 11 points to 3 to 17 points to 11. So they did win. And, um, you know, credit to them. They played well. They closed it out. Their forwards did what they needed to do. You know, once again, the backs in both teams did not do a huge amount. I have to be honest, I did make a couple of mistakes, which gave them probably about 30 or 40 metres of territory because I, playing centre, you know, I was kind of used to being out in the wing. Um, I wasn't really communicating with my wing at the time, so I've gone in and made a tackle. 
whereas my wing can see that there's a couple of guys outside of the guy that's got the ball and we've only got one defender so it's a two on one situation I've gone and made the tackle I've committed to the tackle which has meant that once he's given the pass there's a two on one situation so that happened twice um, happened twice to me and that's probably the worst one of the worst mistakes you can make as a back um, on defense is committing so from there I'm happy to say that whenever there was a man in front of me with the ball whenever we were under pressure whenever you know they were looking at passing it out wide I never committed to the tackle again I, I surfed them across I I pushed them across using the sideline as you know basically another defender waiting until they cut back inside in which case you've got your other defenders on the inside waiting for him to cut cut in so a couple of times in the game I I was winded um, I got winded really bad last week and I got winded pretty bad this week <laughs> yeah so I got dumped on my head um, that was a yellow card a bull offense although the guy did not get a yellow card um, I took the hit in the chest and he could have just based I was I was honestly I was on the way I was on the way to the ground anyway he put the hit in I took the contact I was gonna go down but he fucking picked me up and dumped me on my head and it was fucking dangerous and so for a split second just before I hit the ground I thought fuck this is in God's hands right now I don't know what's gonna happen so luckily you know I was able to tuck my head or whatever happened and and it wasn't too bad second time I made a tackle out wide uh, the guy stepped back inside and hit me you know as the attacker he stepped back inside I was pushing him toward the sideline it was just me uh, he stepped back inside hit me pretty hard I did make the tackle but what happened was he, he hit me so hard that it just pushed me to the ground and he fucking fell right on top of me so my back was to the ground he fell right on top of my chest and I mean I don't know whether it was <laughs> honestly you could have called him a chiropractor because at the end of the day all I felt was along my back bro he came fucking flat on my chest right slammed me back into the ground big contact and all I felt was <laughs> along my back right and I was like, oh, fuck me, dude. I've been dumped on my head, and now I've, I've broken my back. But I didn't break my back, and actually, it probably just, it probably freed me up a bit, but I did get winded, so I, I was on my fucking haunches for about a minute trying to get my breath back, and it's like, you know, at the time when you're winded, bro, you do not think that, you, you think you're going to die. You honestly think you're going to die. It's like the, the closest thing to a panic attack I've ever experienced. And, um, you know, it's not nice. No one, no one likes getting winded, but it is a part of the game. And when you're going in hard and, and things happen suddenly, you know, it, it's possible to get the wind taken out of you pretty easily. So, ah, what else can I say? What else can I say? Uh, our forward pack, like I said, man, are in sync, bro. They are so good, so awesome. Awesome to be in the backs knowing that we've got a solid forward pack like that. Um, what else? I'm absolutely covered in mud. As per usual, we've got mud on my face. <laughs> um, yeah, got a got a bit of a knot to my nose at the bottom of a ruck. Um, I, I actually I was checking my nose at the bottom of a ruck because I was like, oh fuck, what's that? You know, I got a bit of a whack to the nose. Rugby's a rough game, man. It's a tough game, and that's the first thing that I said after the game. My sister was there. She's like, oh fuck, how did you feel after that dump tackle? I was like, man, rugby's a rugby's a tough game. I felt all right. I felt fine. <laughs> not really <laughs> but you got to brush it off man that was in the first half I had no choice so anyway third week down hell of a lot of fun the boys are gelling well <clears throat> we did have a loss this week but that team was sharing the top of the table with us and I gotta say man I gotta say we definitely had it over them there's no reason there is absolutely no reason why they should have won that apart from you know a few silly little mistakes uh, nearing the end of the second half so with all that being said, I feel like today was a success. I, I've, I've definitely had a lot of fun. I'm going to go home now and actually edit up. I'm going to edit up and I'm going to drop some names here. DeAndre Swift and Jonathan Taylor. Those are the two players that I reacted to literally yesterday morning. I haven't edited the, the videos up yet, but I look forward to doing that. And, um, you know, I will say one thing. It, it, <laughs> Uh, it's pretty crazy, bro. That first that first video I made talking about how the first week of rugby went that was, you know, relatively uh, emotional. Um, I'm not afraid to put my emotion out there for the world to see, and it's it seems as if that that video really related to a fair few people, and it's actually been called viral, uh, not by me, but by a website, Rugby Onslaught. 
rugbyonslaught.com picked up that video and they shared it and they've actually shared a couple of other videos that I've made so Rugby Onslaught, I've got to say, shout out to you uh, that video <laughs> am I going to start crying right now? Uh, no, I'm going to shut it, shut it down don't cry but that video hit fucking hard because I, I really realized at that moment that I saw those socks these exact socks guys I realized that, wow, I'm doing this, man. I, I, I've dreamt about this. I didn't think this would happen, but I'm doing this. I'm back in the fray. I'm back playing rugby. And it happened because I wanted it to, and I fucking made it happen. That's why. <laughs> I was here in Christchurch. I didn't have to go down to rugby training. I made myself go. I didn't have to go to the first game. I fucking made myself go. And here we are three weeks in. I ain't making myself go anymore. I fucking love it. I love rugby. And with that being said, I'll see you next week for the match report after round number four of Canterbury Metro Rugby Division 2 for 2020. And with that being said, I'll see you later. Peace out.